G'day guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to pick the best bomber over the last decade. So, again, the, this club I had a bit of a look through. That there's a lot of new faces and there's a lot of players that have started about five, six years ago. So there's not stacks to choose from in this regard, but also there were a few that, um, that did stand out. And this one was probably a bit, one of the tougher ones I did find doing this uh, little, I suppose, series, but I did find a player and might surprise a few as well, like, uh, like uh, with Carlton as well. So, the player of picks as the best player of the decade for the Bombers goes to Michael Hurley. Now, you're probably thinking, what the heck's going on with Dyson Heppel and Zara Rikas? Heppel's second, FYI, but I picked Hurley. He's had, you know, a touch of injury over the years, but... I reckon over the last number of years, he's just been an absolute star down back. He, he's had to show all the defence, you know, with Dustin Fletcher going. He's really taken on the best forward pretty much every week. He's, he's played as loose man at times as well, sort of like an Alex Rance role. But the amount he's had to shoulder and the amount of shoulder injuries he's had, it's quite, quite significant. Um, I still remember one of his first games where he kicked four against the Hawks. I remember he kicked a goal on his left foot from outside 50. Um, that, that moment certainly stuck out to me, but um, yes, he got two All-Australians by the looks of it, second All-Australian in 2017, and, and just over the course of the, the 10 years, he, he's been um, a really you know, vital cog for them, and when he's, been, when he's been out, the Bombers have really felt it, I, I feel, and um, yeah, the amount of work, work rate he's had to perform, he, he's become much fitter over the years as well and the ability for him to run, he uses the ball reasonably well, he's a sensational intercept mark and he's a real highlight for mine. Dyson Heppel certainly gets um, second, he's probably thinking why not first, come on, what, what's going on here mate? He, he started his journey in 2011, um, if I have one knock on him, it's, it's going to be right here, um, he's not quite the goal kicking midfielder you'd like and definitely he's had some amazing games and definitely he's ultra consistent. Um, and has been a good captain, but it, it was just so hard to go past Hurley with, um, yeah, just his impact on the on the games and, and all those sorts of things. And he's been ultra reliable as well. So, in like a kind of like a Cade Simpson kind of role. So, look, very hard decision between Heppel and Hurley, but I have elected to go with Hurley on this occasion. So, interesting selection potentially. Um, Hep obviously been. Outstanding as well. I just think Hurley's just slightly pipped him in with the amount of extra work he's probably had to do down back with not the most strongest midfield um, around him. He's uh, he's certainly been uh, the sunlight for the Bombers. So hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Chuck in who you think uh, has been the best bomber over the course of the last decade, as in a bomber that's been playing between uh, those times uh, for a reasonable amount of time. So. Again, thanks for watching guys, subscribe away, like the video, all that good stuff, I'll see you in the next video.